वेलकम बैक टू दिस फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ दिस इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन ट्रेनर सीट बाय टेस्का टेक्नोलॉजीज प्राइवेट लिमिटेड इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी द वर्किंग ऑफ डीसी मोटर इन डिफरेंट कॉम्बिनेशन वी आर यूजिंग अ सिंक्रोनस जनरेटर फॉर दिस एंड विल सी द जनरेशन आउटपुट ऑन द ए सी मेजरमेंट पैनल वील प्रोवाइड द सीरीज शंट सेपरेटली एक्साइटेड एंड द कंपाउंड कॉम्बिनेशन फॉर द डी सी मोटर एंड देन वी ऑब्जर्व डिफरेंट जनरेटर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड वी आई टॉक for this dc motor in this part we will also observe the working on a software based system which is provided with this complete setup how we can achieve the data and different characteristics on a real time software provided with this complete setup for more information about this trainer you can also visit our earlier videos part 1 2 and 3 in which i have explained different type of working of motors and the complete details about all the panels that we are providing with this and if you have already watched our earlier part so let move on to the this part and please subscribe our channel and like this video if you are liking our content so with the first experiment in this part we will study the shunt motor winding so with the first experiment in this part we will first study the speed torque characteristics of a dc shunt motor for this we will connect this dc motor in a shunt form then we connect the synchronous generator with variable dc supply providing the field and the three phase output measured by the measurement panel and of after that when we run the dc motor at different rpm and we'll get the generated output and provide the load with the ac measurement panel ac ac resistive load panel we can provide different load on a generator so that we can observe the loading characteristics also on the dc shunt motor so let us follow the user manual and start the connections going for the dc motor first we'll provide single phase ac supply to the dc motor drive panel 1 connect t12 and t14 from the mcb1 to t1 and t2 on the dc motor drive panel then we connect t3 and t4 to providing shunt field on f1 and f2 respectively for providing armature voltages we'll connect t5 and t6 on the armature so first we are doing the separately excited dc motor connections as the direction compound the direction motor cannot be performed because of the generator and motor has same capacity for this prime mover should be higher capacity for performing the direction option now we have separately provided the field to this motor and now we will provide field to the synchronous generator for this we will connect t4 t2 from the ac measurement panel to t2 and t1 respectively on variable ac dc panel now from here we'll use the dc rectified output variable output of dc to the field coil of synchronous generator now we'll use RYB patch code for taking the generated output on the three phase AC measurement panel two. For this, we connect RYB terminals on motor or synchronous generator. With the RYB terminal on three phase AC measurement panel. and also applying a neutral now for the resistive load we will use the three phase ac resistive load provided with this panel on the output side of three phase ac measurement panel now for providing the load on the output we will connect ryb from the three phase measurement panel to t5 will be connected to t3 
T6 connected to T7 and T7 connected to T11. Now we'll form the star point connecting T10 with T6 and T6 with T2. Using a black patch code wire for neutral, we'll connect T2 with T8 on the three-phase AC measurement panel. So now our connections has been done. You have to verify all the connections before starting the motor. We have verified our all connections. Now we are ready to starting this motor. For this, firstly, we will turn on the single-phase AC power supply panel. MCB 1 and 2, make sure the variable AC DC power supply knob should be at zero position. By using this potentiometer P1, we can gradually increase the speed of DC motor and we will start DC motor rotating with the prime mover connected at the secondary load. We will also observe that the synchronous generator is also ro start rotating. So we will gradually increase the voltages. Observe the RPM on load and RPM torque panel. Run the DC motor up to 3000 RPM, providing up to 200 volts. So motor is now about at 2940 RPM and taking the load up to 0.6 kg now on the AC measurement panel side we can observe that right now no voltage is generated or very minimal voltage is generated for providing the field to the synchronous motor or synchronous generator we will gradually increase the variac power supply and as I increasing the variac power supply you can observe that the voltage are generated on the CPAC measurement panel. You can gradually increase the supply till you get line to line voltages about 400 volts and line to neutral voltages about 230 or 240 volts. So here we are now about to reach 400 volts output. Here the output is generated by the synchronous generator. Now we can load the generator and find out the different load and torque characteristics of this DC shunt generator. DC shunt motor. Now for loading this generator, we will turn this load firstly to the 10k position. Over here we can see that ampere are about to just 0.22 on this as I decrease the more resistance ampere increase load increase on the generator here right now load is 0.9 kg at each and every point you can easily find out the speed and torque characteristics here I am in decreasing some more resistance and load is increasing on the generator you can also note down the ampere and voltage on the DC motor drive panel I am increasing some more load here the ampere right now 0.89 ampere decreasing some more load ampere about 0.11 and now rpm slightly drop down as load is increasing and this is the minimum load to this AC DC panel which is 147 is the highest ampere over here we are getting and this is the lowest resistance that we can provide to this now gradually remove the load in a step from the resistance from the generator you can observe rpm on each and every step with increasing the load after increasing the load first turn down the so that the generation can be stopped then you can gradually decrease the potentiometer for stopping this motor so this is how we can find out the 
speed to character 6 of by dc motor in separately excited mode so for the next setup we will measure the speed to character 6 of a dc motor connected in series for this we have already set up the synchronous generator for generation mode as per the last experiment now we will connect the motor in series so that we can observe the series characteristics with speed to and torque for connecting the motor in series we will firstly connect t12 to t1 of the dc motor drive panel connect t14 to t2 on the dc motor drive panel and then we will connect armature output t5 and t6 t5 will be connected to a1 of the armature coil and t6 will be connected to s1 of the series coil now using a short link we will short s2 with a2 here our series connection has been now completed now we are again start the motor at 3000 rpm then we load the generator in its step and we'll check the speed to characteristics on a torque rpm panel so now we are going to start the motor for this first we'll turn on the single phase mcb over here we have indication of power on dc motor drive panel 1 now we gradually increase the potentiometer and motor will start rotating gradually increase the motor so that you can receive about 3000 rpm on the rpm and torque panel So here now rpm sir 3000 rpm we gradually increase the dc supply to the field of synchronous motor synchronous generator so that voltage generation can be observed on the three phase measurement panel here you can see as i am increasing the voltage rpm going down and voltages are inducing in the synchronous generator increase the voltage up to 380 volts and then match the frequency about 50 hz by increasing the rpm of motor as we have connected the motor in series so there is very low torque and high rpm here now voltage is generated is about 420 volts and line to line and 240 volt line to neutral so we have generated the voltages with this series combination now we will load the motor and check the load and speed characteristic speed characteristic of this dc series motor now for loading this motor we will use this three phase ac dc the resistance load panel at the first speed we can observe that the rpm and load on the torque and rpm panel ampere on the three phase measurement panel if i increase some more load rpm slightly decreases because the motor has low torque so as i increasing the torque on the motor rpm going down if i increase some more load rpm again slightly goes down on more load we can see rpm 2850 and at the maximum load we can observe rpm at the minimum position so right now rpm is at 2700 and torque is about 1 newton meter so that's how we find out the load and speed curve on the dc series combination so that was the series combination of the dc motor
now we move to the compound combination of this series motor for this we will provide supply separately to the field and then we use compound coil by which we can connect the armature winding and connecting one end of compound coil with the armature for this we will first short the c2 and a2 compound coil with the armature coil similarly we will provide supply to the field from t3 and t4 from drive panel 1 i have already connected the connections for providing the power supply to the drive motor panel and three phase supply connection will be remain same as per the earlier practical now we'll connect t3 and t4 to f1 and f2 and then we will connect t5 and t6 to armature and compound coil t5 will be connected to a1 and t6 will be connected to c1 so that's how our compound connections has been done now we are ready to again start the motor and find out the load and speed torque speed characteristics of this compound co configuration so let us start the motor for this i have turned on the single phase ac power supply from this panel and now we'll gradually increase the potentiometer right now you can see the field indication is also showing on the drive motor panel 1 that we have provided separately field in this compound configuration we'll gradually increase the power and we can observe that motor starts rotating with some high torque increase the rpm up to 3000 rpm motor is now at the 2900 rpm it is now 2970 rpm and it is at 3000 rpm so we can now start loading the motor with increasing the fuel coil supply so that motor facing some load on the generator side voltage is now in tube on the generator side now we can load the generator with different loading conditions so we'll load the generator with different loading conditions with this ac dc load panel and at the same time we will observe the rpm and torque on the torque and rpm panel as i am increasing the load the torque on the motor is increasing and rpm slightly going down at different positions you can note down the torque and rpm so after taking all the readings of load and rpm you can easily found out the torque and speed characteristics of dc compound motor with this we conclude our all experiment with this electrical machine trainer now we move to the software section how we can read out and trace the different curves with the readings and provided with different panels you can find out different type of graphs as well on the same screen and software extracting the cd material you will find the folder electrical machine trainer cd material in your cd then you find these two folders from here you can easily find out this software folder extract this kmt01 file and you will get kmt01 folder over here in this k trainer folder you will find the directly runtime file which is kmt01 over here you can open this but before that you can install the usb to serial driver easily pl2303 driver installer and you can connect the cable to your computer and find out it com port and you can go to the device manager to finding out the com port of this cable in your cable to your usb port you can go to device manager here you will find your cable here usb to serial ch340 cable is showing if i disconnect the cable this com port disappears here you can see and if i connect it again selecting my installed driver the cable will properly connected in the com port section com3 is my selected com from this 
you can select any of your desired comb but need to remember that what comb you are selecting now after that go to the trainer folder here you can now run the application kmt01 and as you run the file you will find electrical measurement software over here here you can find out different details user experiment name torque speed and load all the marks are already ticked for selecting the multifunction meter depending on your experiment you can select the multifunction meter 1 and 2 and if you are working on both of them you can select them also and you can select single phase and three phase depending on your application that you are working on single phase motor so that you can use single phase characteristics or single phase data will be taken and if you are working on a three phase motor and getting data of a three phase motor you can select three phase on the three phase section so i am working right now on three phase motor so we will select three phase and also i am working on multifunction meter 2 so then i will select multifunction meter 2 if you are getting reading on dc meter you can select dc also and channel 1 we are selecting for this default id is selected at channel 1 you can enter the username i am selecting the enter username is it tesca and experiment name is electrical machine trainer depending on your experiment and data you can uh, enter any of your desired name now the main important part of this graph you can select tick the graph option and then there are graph options available if you are going to do a graph of torque versus speed you can select torque versus speed and if you are want to graph torque versus current meter 1 so this will take the data of multifunction meter 1 if you want to graph torque versus current meter 2 it will take current meter 2 data similarly with speed current meter 1 speed current meter 2 and for voltages current DC meter 1 and 3 are provided so that 1 and 3 channel you can use current meter DC current meter for DC measurement so I am right now doing a torque versus speed graph for this I am selecting torque versus speed on the x axis the minimum graph value you can enter 0 and the maximum range value at x axis we will get the torque so we will use the near about getting value as I am getting 1.0 torque or 1.1 torque at the maximum so I am selecting 1.5 here you can you have to select the single digit so I am selecting 2 over here and steps at which steps you want to show the value if you are want to show the value at 0 steps you can select 0 in which in how many steps you want to show the value so I am selecting here about uh, 10 so that 0 to 2 value will be shown on the graph in 10 steps similarly for y axis we are getting a speed and we are working on 3000 rpms maximum so you can select 3000 or 4000 for better reading so I am selecting 5000 for this and for stepping I am selecting 1000 steps One at 1000 we will get 5 steps from till 5000 now all the data are entered entering all the values you just need to press start experiment and you will get the home screen over here you can see that our experiment name username are given now you will select the com port going to settings here com port 3 is selected press submit and our com port is connected now before selecting this connect your 9 pin cable to the torque rpm panel on socket 3 provided on the d type connector of 9 pin now you can start the experiment and start the graph as well you will get all the values one by one on this graph now you can observe that right now no values are showing at load torque and rpm as i press start over here you will get some values on the torque this is the initial value and when we turn the motor on and start the experiment so as i gradually increasing the speed you will get torque and rpms readings one by one 
it is are gradually increasing and with the different points on the graph you can see we are getting the torque and speed characteristics also the parameters of multifunction meter are right now also available so we'll reach up to 3000 rpm then we gradually increase the dc excitation so that we can get the voltages you can see on the left side voltages are increasing and all the data related to the complete trainer setup is showing gradually on the parameters now if i change the load you can observe the variation in the torque and load with different loading positions and when i press the 750 load button you can get the speed torque characteristics of different loads as well after getting all the data you can find out the data and export complete data here you can see all the details are given at with the different time stamps at the start the data is zero then we are getting different values on voltages current and frequency load power factor torque and other values also so all values can be exported directly just click export button and you will get the complete file in your download folders you can open this file this is an csv file which can easily open in any excel format then using this reading you can easily draw your load and speed torque characteristics with the ease of this complete setup doing your one experiment you can just change the user by logging out from this setup and again enter all your details and start the experiment as per your required details so this time we will try to achieve generation output from the synchronous generator for this we will use torque and current meter two graph and torque will be x at x axis so we will provide 0 to 2 same at 10 speed 10 steps and 10 sections and current will be about 0 to 1 so i am taking two with also same 10 steps so we'll press start experiment button here a refresh new graph is provided now after starting the motor we will get current versus torque graph so that we can easily find out the efficiency of generator so i have pressed the start button now will gradually increase the speed
and we'll turn on the motor then we get the rpms and torque on the software screen increase the rpms up to 3000 rpms then we gradually increase the excitation to generate the voltages from sequence generator up to 400 volts right now no amperes are provided because we have run plot the synchronous generator so we have reached up to 400 volts you can observe all parameters on the left hand side screen as well and now for current we will gradually increase the load on generator so that we can find out the current value here you can see the i total amps are now showing 0.02 i am increasing the load the current is slightly increasing again i am increasing the load again some more and then again some more load and this is the maximum load so we are getting around 0.146 value and power is about 44.33 watts torque is now 0.86 newton meter and speed is slightly down from the 3000 rpm speed now we will remove the load and stop the readings you can export the data with the export file select export and you will get the another file in in csv format all the data are given so that you can easily draw the characteristics of this torque versus current characteristics of synchronous generator So that's how at the graph we have measured the speed and torque characteristics and the different parameters on the software connected with this and provided with this complete setup you can also apply different loads provided with this setup we have provided capacitive load which is connected over here you can put connect the lamp load easily with connecting in star and delta different combinations we are providing different voltage of bulbs on the providing holder so that you can easily connect different type of loads also we have provided inductive load and the capacitive load for the different options you can load them and get the different characteristics at different type of load conditions you can do all the experiments provided in this complete setup and for more queries and related to this trainer you can contact to tesca technologies private limited for any type of support and if you like the content of this complete setup please do like share and subscribe our channel which is tesca global on youtube for more details about this trainer and for more details about other trainers related to this field you can visit more videos and playlists provided on our channel so with this we conclude our this series of electrical machine trainer or in this part 4 of this electrical machine trainer i hope you get to understand of working of different type of electrical machinery with this complete setup and if you want to suggest and give any ideas about this trainer or you want to do uh, some you want us to do some more videos with related of different type of machineries you can comment down your comments on our comment box till then thank you for watching this video we'll meet in the next video soon